Junior Castro, Facebook Gabby's Grills, and then I got YouTube. So YouTube, here's what we're doing. We're, some guys asked to start a fire, how to start how to start a fire in Gabby's Grills. So basically, I get one of these chimneys, put the charcoal in there. I threw a couple of wood on top. I use that to, uh, I use the charcoal to light my wood. Don't get me wrong. My barbecue has, has a, a propane burner that can start it. If you have a Weber performer, you can do it that way too. It'll start your wood. But I'm all, like me, if you're like me, I'm always out of propane, so. And then just throw your wood on top. Simple as that. Like that, bam, you're lit. <laughs> Where you wood on top? I'm using a, I'm using a, um, what's it called? Oh, 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 it's a little bit different than that. Put your grate down, let it get hot, and you hit it, and once you're ready. Hey, Chris, so check it out, brother. We, we hey, hey, what's up, Dave? We're gonna make, we're gonna, today we're gonna make tater tots. This is my wife's favorite. Remember on tater tots? Don't put nothing on it. Don't put no seasoning. What's up, Juan? No, what's up, brother? What's up, Jason Jones? Hey, don't put nothing on it. Because what happens is, I don't know why, but it'll make it too salty. So be careful. Don't put no seasoning on, on the tater tot. Just throw it on there. Spray it with nonstick. And that's it. Don't put no seasoning. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be too salty. Cheers, brothers, huh? There's water today. What's up, Myron? What's up, brother? It's that crazy Monday, huh? Crazy Monday. And remember, when it all comes down to it, God is good, brothers. God is good, God is good, and God is good. And if you didn't know, God is good, brothers. Right there. That's what it's all about right there. Bam. God is good. What's up, Pat? Those sticks? Those sticks? So I get those from uh, my neighbor. He works in a winery. And he's, they're, oil, they're oak. And they're soaked. Well, so Luis, they're soaked in uh, wine for like, I don't know how, how many years they, they soak them. And then they pull them out and throw the sticks away. Well, he brings them to me. So you got white wine, red wine. White, red. Which, I don't give a shit. I throw them in there. You know me. I don't, I don't plan it. I don't plan. We just do. We don't plan here. Ain't no planning going on here. Happy Thanksgiving week, brother. You too, brother. Hey, to your family too, brother. Hope you guys are all safe. Hope you guys are all good. Sipping on tequila. Oh shit. It's, hey, it's Monday, brother. But, hey, that's too early for me. You know what this weekend? I only drank like three beers and then one mixed drink. That's all I drank. Freaking, uh, took my wife to, um, we went to eat and we ended up going to a gun store and she wants a gun. So she bought herself a gun. She got herself a, a semi-automatic 12 gauge. She wants to learn to go shoot. Me, I'm not really into guns. Um, I don't have nothing against guns. I'm not one of them. Don't, don't, don't get me right there. I don't, got, I don't got nothing against guns. You guys have guns, it's all on you. I don't care. That shit don't, that shit don't bother me any other way. I just think it's boring. Shooting is boring. It's, it's just boring to me. Don't get me wrong. I like guns. Like, I like, I like the, the, the mechanics of them. I like how they look. I like what they do. Um, I just think it's boring. You know what I mean? You go buy a gun and you shoot for like, dude, I can shoot for like 10 minutes. I'm like, all right, it's gone. It's gone. Unless you got like a bunch of different ones. You know what I mean? I did try. Then it's all good, but. Like, I like, I like going to have a buddy in the army. Can't find my cleaner. Oh, it's over there. I have a, from that. It's over here. Hold on. Let me do it. I have a buddy in the army. He's already done like three tours in Iraq. And he, he loves them, dude. He fucking, he loves shit out of guns. And, uh, I like going shooting with him because he has a bunch of different guns and different shit you can try out. And I like that. As far as me, me, uh, I, I, I can care less. I think they're, I think they're a necessity. I think you need them. But 
They're kind of boring. As like a hobby, they're kind of boring. What's up, Nick? Yeah, it's, I guess it's expensive. I don't know. It's just uh, it's just boring, brother. I'm just straight up. It's just boring. I got like a, the one guy sharing I do is like where you're shooting with a, like a long rifle with a, with a freaking like a mic like a. With a scope on it, you shouldn't shoot far away. But other than that, what's up, Kelly? What's up, Mike? Yeah, yeah, right on, brother. What's up, Bob? Hey, Bob, I ain't forgot about you, brother. I, I'm missing, I'm missing this piece. I, I need more of that. So I ain't forget about you, brother. I promise, I ain't forget about you. What's up, Jeff? What's going on? I got, I still got your, I still got your sign. I got yours, brother. I just need to weld that piece on, but I don't got no more. I'm trying to get some today at the metal, like piece of scrap to make it. You want to, I get, I can buy it, but they'll, they'll make you buy a whole twenty footer. I'll make a thousand of those things. I didn't forget you, brother. I promise. I didn't forget you. Well, here's how we do a tater top. Need one of these pans? Pans with the holes, like the romper room. <laughs> That's what you need right there. Yeah, they had a crazy weekend. So we came home, and then my neighbors called the cops on me for blocking my, because I was blocking my driveway. So they called the cops on me for me blocking my own driveway. Don't, don't, don't ask, don't ask. That's just, I'm telling you, brother. And, and then and then the neighbors think that I called the cops. Like, they, that's crazy. Yeah, they, they they call the cops for blocking my driveway. I block I block I put a car parked in front of, like across my driveway. In the street. They call the cops and the cops made me move it. Then I was pissed. Ruin my ruin my night. Ruin my wife's night too. What's up, Josh? What's going on, brother? What's up, Myron? Yep, it's against the law to park your car in front of your driveway, brother. And the neighbors can call on you. And they made me move it. Hey, it's California, brother. It's California. I'm telling you. This is Nazis. It's the Nazis right here, dude. Motherfuckers are pieces of shit. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do these cheat. What's up, Chris? Hey, hey, Chris, you never believe it, homie. It's all paisas. All paisas, fool. All, hey, I'm the closest you're going to get. It's all paisas. All of them. The paisas, hey, they, hey, they're not like they were before. They, 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 they're a bunch of cop callers over here, dude. They call cops to me all the time. All the time, dude. I have my trailer in the street. They call the cops on my trailer. I'm telling you, parked in, the, in front of my house, they call it on that. They call it everything. Back in the day we grew up, they would just kick back. What's up, Tommy? They wouldn't bother. What's up, Kamika? They wouldn't bother nobody. They just go to work. They're not the same anymore. Hey, but the cops over here are cool. They, they they just come like, hey man, just move your car, man. So they don't they don't come and like they don't come and beat you up or, or do nothing like that. They're cool over here. Dude. They're like, hey, I'm, I'm just I, I gotta enforce it. 
I understand it's your house. I don't really know, you know what I mean? They're like, but it is what it is. They're, 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 they're actually cool about it, you know what I mean? They're just doing, doing their job. They're not taking it personal. I gotta say that. I'll give it for, for, for the police, the police right here in Paso Robles. They're, they, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. Anybody want to talk shit about our, about our police force? They're full of shit, dude. Because like, Paso Robles Police Department, I have nothing but love for them. Dude. They have always been, always gave me respect, never disrespected me, always, always treated me good. Drive by, brother, right here. So if you guys are from Paso, and uh, you guys have a problem with police, which I can understand, but on some places, but here you can't. Cause here you go, brother. Here they're cool. They don't trip, dude. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> all you Paso PD out there, you guys are awesome, man. You guys are cool. You guys don't trip. You guys don't pick on nobody. They only they only mess with you if you're messing around. This is some stuff called Tatanka. Check it out. <laughs> nah, I don't call. You know me. You know better than that. I don't call. I don't call nobody. See, like, if I call the cops, they, they mess with me. So I'm like, man, I'm not going to call the cops. You know what I mean? I don't want to call them and end up messing with me. Oh, I'm at it. Hey, I'm at it some good shit. I got to get some more. I'm going to order some more. I gotta get one more thing. Check it out, Chris. Check it out. Look at this, bro. Look at this. I'm telling you right now, if you guys have never made. Ah, Myron, I would love to be my neighbor, brother. Barbecue every day. Dude, if you hey, if you ever had tater tots on the barbecue, it's the best. And they get crispy. I need to get one more thing though. You know why? Because when I do with that, it, it breaks them. You don't want to break. What's up, NCD? Oh, I forgot about YouTube. This is good, huh, brother? Hold on. Hey, Chris. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Look at this. See if you remember this. Look at it. I still got my old truck, brother. Look at it. I'm going to fix it still. Still back there. Look at that. Still got it, baby. You remember my truck? I still got it from all the way back then. It, it only got like that because the, the motor popped. The motor finally, and the motor really didn't pop. The, um, the timing chain went out on it, but the problem with the timing chain on that thing, it's a press, it's a press fit. So you gotta take the whole motor part and get the timing chain out. What's up, Tim? What's up, brother? What's up, Jerry? This, all you do is kind of mix it around a little bit. And the tater tots, I put them on frozen. Oh man, I missed it. How do you bring that words back on, you, on, on YouTube? Man. What's up, David? What's up, buddy? <laughs> we got no gas. <coughs> No cats in the house. What's up, brother? I can't bring the I can't bring the words back. Sell it to me. Boy, you got a 62. What do you need my truck for? Hey, I'm gonna fix it though. I'm gonna build a shop another. So look at here's my shop, Chris. I got this shop right here. That's my one shop right here. And then I'm gonna build another one right there. What's up, Troy? I'll show you, and then I'll show you like the kind of motors I build, and you'll see what I do on the motor side. But this is my, this is, hey, this is my love right here. This is what I like doing. I like barbecuing, hanging out, chilling with you guys, spreading the word. God is good. Hey, God straightened me out, so if God can straighten me out, God can straighten anybody out. 
If God can love me, he can love you guys, man. I'm telling you. And you don't gotta, and you don't, people think when you, you could just be a regular person. You could, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta be all, I don't know how I say. God loves us all, brother. You know what I mean? That's all I gotta say. I ain't, I ain't perfect. I'm far from a perfect Christian. Um, I'm probably the least perfect Christian you could probably find. But I, I think God loves me, so I know I know God loves me, so I'm good. I got everything. I got everything that I can want. I got good. I got a beautiful wife, good family. All right, here you go, brother. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it, brother. So look it. So here's what we do right here. We're barbecuing this. Some pork steaks. So remember, never put no juice on it at first. You want that? You want to let it, let the seasoning kind of like cook onto it. And then you put the juice on there because what will happen is, you'll wash it off. You don't want to wash it off. Now we put our juice. Put our suntan lotion. And all this is is tapico orange juice. That's all that is right there. Normally what I do is when I do tater tots, I put a, I put a, I put a, them on first. Let them cook for a little because they take, they take a while. So I'll put those on first. I'm just not paying attention. I put them on, put everything on at one time. But normally I put them on first. Like I said, in the tater tots, you want to get something like this. Because you can flip it with this. But when they, first what happens is when they start to cook, Yeah, I go, oh, about how to start the fire. So I showed it. That's why I made the video on how to start the fire. So in the beginning, I kind of show how I did it. But so what happens when you make tear tops? First, they get soft, and then they get crispy. So people think if you cook them like this, they won't get crispy. They still get crispy. But when they get soft, and you use this to, to, to like start to like kind of mix them up, they'll break. And you don't have mashed potatoes. You don't want mashed potatoes. Do like that. These ones. My wife loves loves these, brother. She loves these. Who the hell is that? No, I never done it. But that sounds good. Bacon, dude. Bacon wrap. Everything sounds good. You know what I mean? You can wrap bacon around, dude. You ever have bacon wrap dates? Those are freaking good. Get some dates and then wrap them with bacon. Try those. It's like it's like a it's like a um, like a dessert. What's up, Rob? From Texas, baby. Hey, Chris, we got to move to Texas, buddy. Texas where the barbecues. Dude, Texas is where everything's happening. The barbecue scene, the freaking, the, the car scene. Man. Hey, but my, but, hey, but Cali be putting it up down too, though. We got the barbecue. I've been selling, I, I've been selling more barbecues right now to uh, California and to New York, believe it or not. I sold one to a guy in New York today. He says he, well, he said he likes best about the fire because it's, it's a pit. He's saying it's wintertime, it's cold for them. So when you can make a fire pit and cook at the same time, he's like, that's what they're looking for. I know I noticed it getting a lot of a lot of sales in that area. It's like, man, I wonder what's and then that's that he explained to me why. Because we like to, to cook with the fire because we're cold. It's cold over there in winter wintertime. Once it's cold, we we need fire. So here it is. Look at my, uh, my thing finally broke. See it? Finally fell off. I'm gonna fix it. See, I've repair, I repaired my, my fire started like 10 times already. I'll fix it. I made ghetto tacos yesterday, um, yesterday for football, during football, because myself watched football and I was watching Jeff Foxworth. I don't watch football. What's up, John? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Big Jack? Oh, shit. Big Jack in the house. So I don't actually go to a church, but I'll tell you what I do do. So if you come to my house, if you've been to my house, you'll always hear the radio on, and it's the Christian station. And what, is, what it is, it's called 
CSN, Christian Satellite Network. And you can go on, on you can go on, uh, you can go on um, the computer and do it and hit live. Or you find, Google it, and they'll give you a station for your area. So I do that. So I listen to all those. I listen to the pastors all day. And then at 9 o'clock, I get like, a, they have like a news, J Seculo. So I, I listen to that. Um, when you go on, if you go, so it's only 30 minutes of J Seculo. But if you go to their site, you can hear for an hour their whole news on everything going on. So I like to listen to that. I want to get the real news. I don't want to get the bogus news or news on there. I don't know what's true. And I don't really watch TV. I don't I don't have like cable, so I don't watch all I do is watch um uh... <laughs> I've been dropping hints. I hope so too, brother. <laughs> I told my son to be ready. Because I've heard a lot I had a lot of people for Christmas saying they're gonna get barbecues. So So that's how you That's right, Rob. That's right, brother. Hey. As long as, hey, as long as you like the barbecue, someone asked me, someone asked me one time, or people always ask me, so what do you think barbecue season is? I'm on barbecue season. There's no such thing as barbecue season. We barbecue all the time, brother. That, that's that's barbecue season. Right, Jack? Shit, Jack, Jack, I, I'll see Jack out there. There'll be snow and he'll be out there barbecuing. I don't know, I don't know if the snow will stop me. I, I, I don't, I don't have snow, so I don't know if that'll stop me, but, but rain don't stop me. Cold don't stop me. What's up, Sherry? There's my girl. Where you been? Huh? I got to go your way to you pick up some, some parts. Uh, where's my dog? The last one. Put a lot of tater tots in there. We're doing tater tots, Sherry. Barbecue season. Barbecue. <laughs> That's right. Can we go barbecue all, all year long? I barbecue almost every day. You know why I like to barbecue so much? Food tastes better for one thing. But two, if you make a mess, you make a mess outside. I don't got to clean up the inside, you know what I mean? That's probably the number one thing is the cleaning up. Cleaning up is probably the best. What's up, Ryan? Barbie? There you go, Ryan. That's right, buddy. So we got Pastor Ryan in here. Let's put some music on. Let's hear some. Let's, what do you have one here? Let's hear some. Uh, let's hear some. Uh, hey, Google. Play old Crow Band. <coughs> hey, Chris. You still out there? What's up, Betty? Hey. If you don't like some bluegrass, buddy, you gotta get, you gotta get, use some bluegrass. There you go, Daddy. There you go, Dad. Oh, shoot, Daddy Dutch barbecue, baby. Well, of course, you barbecue. That's Daddy Dutch barbecue right there. Like T Roy, all them. Of course, they barbecue every day. Man. Check out, baby. It's a drive by. But if you guys got to check out that station, Christian Sally Network. What's up, Jaime? And probably my favorite pastors on there, the one all from Texas. I don't do nothing. You don't got to do nothing, dude. This, dude this, you don't got to do, I don't do no maintenance to look at my barbecue's dirty. I don't do no maintenance to it. I don't do anything. These grills right here are made to last, brother. You, you don't you don't gotta do anything to them. They'll last forever. I sell replacement grates, but you shouldn't need one. People they did something wrong, they I, I sold one today. Oh copyrights? They you know what you know what they don't sweat the they don't sweat the bluegrass. I don't know why. They don't sweat it. It's, it's if you have like country or something, they sweat it. But if you have or a rap or something that's popular, but for some reason they don't sweat the the bluegrass. What's up, Big Tim? What's up, buddy? Who's my favorite? 
For bluegrass? <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't even know the names of the music. I don't even, I don't even know the names. I just hear it. My wife don't like it. I like that. Anybody use the banjo? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I, hey, I got to meet, I met CJ, he came to my mom's house. That's a cool guy right there. I like CJ, dude. He's a cool guy. What's up, Antonio? What's up, brother? He lives like, CJ lives probably like 15 minutes from my mom and dad's house. Yeah, dude, I like. I like bluegrass. I like I like all music. I like all. If it sounds good, I listen to it. I, re I really like bluegrass though. I think it's relaxing, man. I like it. I wish I wish I would have freaking. Watch like this in bluegrass or country a long time ago, cause I, I really like it. I wish I would. When I was younger, like oh, all I hear is oldies and rap. That's all I wanted to hear. But now that I'm, I hear whatever I not necessarily hear whatever I want. I could hear whatever I want then, but uh, they kicked Junior Castro off. No, oh, you're back. There you go. Take it out, brother. Take it out. Right there, brother. Right there. Dude, I do everything, bro. I do burgers, everything, brother. The reason why you see me not make that many burgers? You know what I like to do is do like, do like a meatloaf or do um, patties and make like it with gravy. Cause I don't, I don't need. I try not to eat that much bread. Cause then I, I get, I get. I'm already sexy, but I don't want to be any more sexy. Ah, oh, that's a. That's gonna be a fight right there, brother. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one, brother. Daniel Arrow. I don't know. I who, who you know what? To be honest, I think Arrow's gonna win. But I'm probably going for Danny. But I think Arrow's gonna win. Hope Danny wins. But I don't I don't I don't think he's gonna win. I I think Arrow's gonna win too. I think he's gonna win. He's he's good, dude. He's 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 good. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. That's all I'm looking forward to. Those are my two, one of my two favorite fighters. That's all I'm looking forward to seeing. I can't wait for that fight, dude. I think it's gonna be knockout. I think Roy Jones gonna get knocked out. I think, I think Roy Jones going down, brother. I think he's going to be fast. He's going to dance around. He's going to dance around. He's going to get away for a little bit. And Tyson is going to bully him. Bully him and knock him out. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> now, I, hey, I dropped the, the spatula. No food. Hey, when you got a husky, you don't make no mess. Hey, guys, on YouTube, if I miss your guys' comment, I apologize. What happens is it goes up and disappears. So sometimes when I do it, I look at it, I try to catch it, and I don't catch it. Yeah, I'm excited about, hey, there's some good fights coming up. And then there's some good fights coming up, dude. I just heard about that one the other day. Ah, uh, if, if, if Jones goes a distance, he, he ran. He ran the whole fight. Think about it. You're not knocking. Think about how hard it was. No, no one really knocked out Tyson. 
It's good, brother. That hey, Salzon season is good. It takes it, Tyson's been knocked out, but it took a lot to knock him out. You know what I mean? And I don't think Roy Jones got it. You you gotta really do some shit to knock him out. Tyson just don't go down. You know what I mean? Fucking Tyson's a stoner. He's always stoned, dude. Every time I see him, he's always stoned. He's funny. But yeah, dude. He's right here. It's Monday. My dog waiting for me to spill something. Living that good life. Yeah, I don't... I, don't, I never eat any... I try not to eat no buns. You know what I mean? Since I missed the beginning of the video. Do a drive-by right here. A little black hole drive-by. Well, hey, first of all, let's say what's up. Say what's up to my pivotals. Of course, if you didn't know, now you know. God is good. God is good. And if you didn't know, God is good, brother. Right there. My, my brotherhood. Yeah, he lost against Buster Douglas. What's up, Antonio? Nah, he doesn't. Hey, but he, hey, hey, but he, he, he beat up uh, um, the one heavyweight. It looked funny because what was the name? Luis Ru Ruiz or something like that. He beat him. It looked funny because he was all skinny with a pot belly, so he could make weight. So my top favorite fighters, someone asked me my top favorite fighters. So here you go. Roy Jones, Tyson, Eric Morales. If you guys are real boxers, you know who Eric Morales is. Barrera. Let's see. That's four. Guys, good, brothers. Hold on, I gotta find one more. I'm not, I wasn't a big De La Hoya fan. I, like, I want to find. I want to find a good one. See if you guys know, like a good one. Flight Mayweather, baby. He's everybody knows him. I know he's the most hated, but he's my he's one of my favorite fighters, dude. That dude right there, he's done stuff that boxes. People hate on him. Hate on him, say he runs. He don't run. Hey, hitting you and moving is not running. Hitting you and moving is getting out of the way. Sorry, buddy. Sugar Ray? Nah. I wish Sugar Ray, you know, I wish Sugar Ray could have fought up. Because he beat up, he, he beat up Floyd Mayweather Sr. I wish he could have fought um, Mayweather now. I bet you, I bet you Mayweather now would have would have beat Sugar Ray. I, matter of fact, I'm 100% positive. But like a lot of fire, I like like I like, I like Sugar Shay Mosey. He's from P Town. I'm from Pomona. He's from Pomona. I like him. Let me see. I like a lot of good fighters, dude. I like I like Miguel Cotto. I don't know something about Cotto. I like Cotto. You know he doesn't win all his fights. I just I think I think he's humble. He's real humble. He doesn't really talk shit. Kind of quiet. What's up, money? Hey, money. Hey, Marvin Hagler. Yeah, Marvin Hagler's good too. He's old school too. Sometimes I go on YouTube and I'll just watch old fights. You know, Manny Pacquiao is good, but I just wasn't a Manny Pacquiao fan. I don't know why. I just, I just wasn't a fan of him. But he's good though. Yeah, you can't take it from that guy. That guy this that that guy did some shit. Dude. You can't take it from Manny. You know what I mean? Hey, if you really know about boxing, you know who's seen the fight where Eric Morales whooped Manny Pacquiao's ass?
You know what I mean? That, that right there, you guys seen that fight? He beat the crap out of Manny Pacquiao. And then all of a sudden, Manny Pacquiao came back strong. Oh, you want to know who one of my favorite fighters is? I love to watch too. Marcos Madonna. I love Marcos Madonna, dude. That dude is a badass, dude. Love that dude. I love that dude, man. What's up, Gary? What's up, brother? Yeah, yay. El Chino. I love that dude, man. That's one of the, those are the fighters that like, like, how do you say it? Like Fernando Vargas, Marcus Madonna, those dudes, they, they, they weren't champions, but they, they, uh, for my family, <laughs> I could like this for my family every day, but they were, they put on a good fight. You know what I mean? No matter, no matter what you knew you were going to get, you're going to get a good fight. My Yorga. Those, hey, those guys, my yoga is nuts, dude. My yoga, my yoga is the only boxer I've ever seen where they make Julio Cesar Chavez. Uh, you know what? You know what messed up Julio Cesar Chavez? is Julio Cesar Chavez's son. He, messed, he, he, makes, he makes that name just bad. Don't forget Rocky. Yeah, Rocky's cool. Rocky was good, too. Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Oscar De La Hoya. I'm not, I'm not, I, I, what's up, Big Joe? What's up, brother? Dude, drive by, baby, drive by. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Where's my, where's my suntan lotion? See, Chris, you don't burn the food like this. Normally, a fire, you'll burn the food. But this way, you don't burn the food. This, this right here is called Santa Maria style cooking. And I'm talking to my boy, Chris. So right here, you cook an open flame. I'm talking about, what well, history of what, what fighter? So if you go like on YouTube, you can go and on Cody too. If you go on Cody and go on old fights, they'll have a list of old fights that you can watch. That's how I watch, like, that's how I watch um, Floyd Mayweather Sr. fight, um, Sugar Ray Leonard. I saw that fight. And think, hey, think about it. They, he, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard was whooping um, Mayweather Sr.'s ass and knock, knocking it. That dude was almost knocked. They stopped the fight, but uh, he wouldn't go down, dude. That dude refused to go down. He wouldn't go down for shit. But hey, but who, people don't know this, but Roger Mayweather was fucking better than than Floyd Mayweather. I thought I always thought Floyd Mayweather Senior was was better than uh than Roger. But I started watching all the fights. Roger was something else, dude. I'm jumping around too much. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> He's uh, stop talking. Let's see the drive bites. Right there, brother. Look at that. Perfect, perfect pork steaks right there. And some tater tots. They're already crispy. Already crispy. See that smoke in my mouth? See it? Hey, your tots. On the barbecue. Don't get no better than that. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. It's almost done. I'm gonna do a little short video so I can post on the on the on the groups. But uh, like always, what's up, Sal? Gotta like say God bless. Thank you for everything. Had a good weekend. Everything was good. Thanks. I saw all the posts you guys did. I appreciate it. Um, all those guys are good. Terrence Crawford, Michael Spinks. Actually, I like Terrence Crawford, dude. I forgot. Hey, I, that's another good fighter. People, hey, people keep dunking Terrence Crawford, but that's a good fighter right there. They don't want to fight him because they don't want to lose. There's a whole list, brother. But like always, I got to get out of here. I can talk boxing all day long. I got to get out of here. Like always, guys. God bless you guys. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything you guys do. I see all the posts. 
if I miss your guys' post and I don't like your guys' post or something, it's not that I don't like it. I just, I, I, I missed it or, or something. So thanks for everything. I appreciate everything you guys do. And uh, God bless you guys. Huh? And remember, if you get anything from my video today, the most important thing you need to get from my video, right, is, is God is good, brother. God makes, God, God makes everything go around. I know things are crazy right now in, in, in the media and all that stuff. And, and even sometimes I'll get caught up in it. And I'm, I'm, I need to take my own advice. Um, just remember, it all comes back to it. God has control. Nothing could happen that God ain't gonna want. That that ain't gonna, ain't supposed to happen. And you know what I mean? So, God got the plan, and who knows what the plan is? But it's His plan, and you know it's good. You know what I mean? It's for our best. So who knows? But like always, brother. I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Be safe out there, huh? God bless you guys. God bless your families. Hey, and take the, wear a mask, man. Wear, 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 take it seriously. We don't need to spread it until they get this vaccine situated and everybody gets it. It's still an issue. You know what I mean? And all you people out there, if you guys know anybody or see anybody buying all the toilet paper and shit, some knock that shit off, dude. People out there, don't be considerate of other people. I mean, there's older people or people who can't go to the store or just can't afford to buy that much toilet paper at one freaking time. Dude, knock that crap off, dude. You know what I mean? That ain't cool. So all you guys out there doing that, or who watch my video, you don't know anybody doing that, tell them don't be doing that shit, dude. That's that's dumb, dude. That's there's a lot of people out there who can't can't get to the store or can't afford to buy that much toilet paper at one time. You know what I mean? It just that ain't cool. But like always, love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Be good out there. Yeah, yay. Cabbage grills. God is good. God is good. And if you didn't know, God is good, brother. You guys have a good night. Be safe, huh? We got the whole week ahead of us. And uh, don't be calling in sick for work unless you're really sick. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good night. Be safe out there. God bless. Later.